What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? All right, well, actually, Facebook, my bad. YouTube is later. Um, now, with that being said, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Big Sid. I'm a little out of practice. And like the song said, let's go from Grim Gutter. If you didn't see it, my boy Jay Black right here did a short little interview with this man at a concert. Um, I was debating on stealing it and throwing it on YouTube and Top Buzz, but I didn't do that until I get the man's permission. Oh, no, you definitely have his permission, sir. We're all working together on the same team, and that is the same team that attempts to take over YouTube one by one. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that man over to my left is Big Sin. I am Hollywood J. Black, and this is the Overtime Sports Show. Uh, Last time this man seen me, I was not in a good fucking place. No, not at all. Um, I wish I could get the picture and show you Rage Face, but it probably would break your screen. Um, probably a few devils and demons would be summoned, and you might get taken over by a spiritual entity, and we don't have any responsibility over that. That's We don't have the insurance for that, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, you know, as I said, this man was on a mission handling some business for us, so I gave him his time, let him do his thing. Uh and yeah, we back in the saddle once again. This is how we do things around this time. So, Sin, you have any thoughts uh, about anything that I talked about on the show? I don't know if you saw the last show. We talked about a few things, uh, namely. As long the, as you shout out my boy, Mr. Dinwiddie, who I called was going to win the skills challenge. <laughs> yeah. And Larry, and Larry Nash Jr. got screwed in the dunk competition. Yeah, he did, actually. I thought... Remember, I called him to win that shit, too. Yeah. I mean, Donovan Mitchell put on a hell of a show doing the Vince Carter uh, 360 between the legs, dunk, windmill, whatever the fuck he did. I don't know what the fuck the shit was, but... Larry Nash Jr. double-tapped the ball off the backboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how much hang time he had. Well, this I think that was interesting, and I think it's... And I also brought up a funny little thing that it took LeBron... To be the, uh, with a whole team of all stars to beat basically the Golden State Warriors by three points. Hold the fuck on! No, 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 no! Don't even go there. Hold the fuck on! Hold on! <laughs> your boy, your boy, Steph Curry looks salty as fuck at the end of that game. Oh, he was salty. He's getting the MVP award because he, he, he feels like this. Uh, he probably feels the same way that majority of America feels, which is pretty much fuck LeBron James. I mean, can you be I, mad at him? I, I, did you did you by chance show the video of Kevin Durant throwing a towel in Steph Curry's face? Go team LeBron. No, I didn't see that. I thought that was funny as shit. I'll, fi I'll find that shit for you and send it to you. <laughs> it was like Not the last game, the last Warriors game before the All Star break. I thought it was kind of funny though. I mean, if you think about it, that uh, that um, what Russell? So LeBron had Kevin Durant, uh, Russell Westbrook, and Kyrie Irving. This nigga had the monsters himself themselves. Hold on, before you even start talking about what he had, you were the man who talked so much shit about Team LeBron because of the injuries <laughs> that you thought they was gonna get wiped the fuck out. They had the Paper plate that motherfucker together, and the funniest shit is Kyrie Irving, LeBron James on the on the bench talking about nigga. You thought it was gonna replace me? Ah! <laughs> yeah, I thought that shit was funny as hell. Hey, real talk though, the funniest shit about that whole thing was that they were up by what eighteen or something, and they lost by three, some shit like that. They were hey, that game was the hook. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a good game. I mean, it was a good they game. They actually played some defense. I'm happy they actually played some defense. Yeah, it wasn't one of those – I mean, it was for, – for a team full of all-stars, it was a ridiculously high – it wasn't a ridiculously high-scoring game because I think there was one that went to the 160s, 170s. Remember that one went to like 184 to 171. That's why people stopped watching. <laughs> no defense and shit. Fuck all you that They were the Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> Speaking of the Dallas Mavericks, since we're doing an NBA rundown right now. Yes. 
How about Mark Cuban going on Dr. J's podcast and saying, hey, I told my team to tank. At least somebody admits it. Fuck. But then, but then, his old president of team operations is now caught in a Me Too scandal. And he's talking about he don't know nothing about it. Motherfucker, we watch you on Shark Tank. You know everything. <laughs> and the brother, he got fined $60,000 for that. You heard about that? No. Yeah, and he should have been. 600000 Sorry, 600000 And he should have been. Yeah, we're going to tank. Nigga, at least the Nets is still playing hard. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Anyways, so we're on to the NBA topic. The main reason why we're doing the show tonight, NBA starts back up tomorrow. And I know that when we, uh, if we do the show tomorrow, it's going to be well after the few, first few games are played. So with that said, we gotta talk, we're going to break down what we call the midseason report. We got two conferences to talk about. I want to talk about who are going to be the actual contenders and who are going to be the pretenders. We're going to start. The standings on my end real quick. Hold on. All right. Well, we're going to talk about the Eastern Conference. Pull up those for sure. All right. So, okay. You want to start from the bottom? Yeah. So, well, let's, yeah, so let's look at the conference. Let me see. So. i tell you the. The worst team in the Eastern Conference right now. Yeah, well, it's Atlanta. The Atlanta Hawks are 18 and 41. Yeah. I remember a couple of years ago, they were talking about, oh my God, the Atlanta Hawks, in a couple of years, they're going to be the champions. Look at their teamwork. That's what I said. Hey, weren't you the number one seed in the playoffs last year or two years ago? Hold on. <laughs> and you know what their teamwork did? What? Yeah. The teamwork worked themselves worked them way out, way out of Atlanta. That's what the fuck happened. <laughs> Next, we have the Orlando Magic. Hey, remember when the Orlando Magic were undefeated to start the season? They were eight and zero. Now they're eighteen and thirty nine. And there's a reason I don't start watching the NBA till the All Star game. <laughs> then we got my fighting hard Brooklyn Nets. At nineteen and forty, they could have won at least thirty of these games. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn is the team that has lost the most games by three, uh, four points or less. Um, now we got the ultra tankalicious, but they're just not doing it right. Chicago Bulls. Yeah, as soon as they're supposed to be tanking, they went on a ten-game winning streak. The fuck? Then they tra- then they traded the guy fuel- fueling it. <laughs> yes. Next up, we got the very shitty New York Knicks. Which they weren't shitty until they lost Kristaps Porzingis. They were actually the eighth seed, and then, yeah. Now we got the revolu- the evolution of Dwight Howard's career, the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets. Now, let's talk about this for a second, because the Charlotte Hornets, I, it, they look so like a really good eighth seed. Playoffs right now. Huh? They're six games out of the playoffs. Do you think they can get there? Not when you look at who's the top eight and who's right above them. Well, okay, what are you going to say about the Hornets? I mean, the Hornets are a team that you don't know who's going to show up every night. That's the problem with the Char- the Charlotte Hornets. Well, I mean, the only one who knows going to show up is Dwight Howard. Yeah, exactly. And and that's, that's, how- that's fucking sad. Yeah, that's true. You never would have thought that at any at any time anywhere. Dwight Howard's having too much fun. I think he, they need to stop him from having fun. I think that's where the issue. So lies. now you've got the team right ahead of them in the ninth slot. In the ninth slot is the Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. Yeah, Detroit Pistons were looking like a team without a leader, and now with Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond controlling the paint, they actually look like a legitimate squad. Like, nigga, why they, they have Andre Drummond shooting three pointers in the All Star game? Um, he had nothing better to do. Except possibly win. Now, here's the most fucked up thing about the All Star game. Hmm. Now, Paul George only made like four three pointers in the three point contest. Yeah. Tell me why Kevin Hart made 10. Oh, speaking of that, like I said, I think, uh, did you hear Did you hear about Quavo, bro? Nah. Quavo from the Migos balled out like he was playing real life NBA 2K. Oh, yeah, when he swatted that chick and knocked her on her ass. Mm hmm. I said, damn, nigga, really? It's like that? 
All right, so here, here we go. If the playoffs were to start, to, if the playoffs were to start today, here's what we would have in the first round. Okay. Yep. We would have the number one seed, Toronto Raptors, yep. taking on the Miami Heat. Yeah, and their rise because Dwayne Wade's back. <sighs> I had to play that one off. I'm sorry. No, they're just playing everybody who's tanking right now. That's, that's true. The that, that's, you can't lie about that. But because what of that, they might end up being a 16. Hey, what about this Toronto team? 41 and 16. Are they finally going to make a run? No. Hey, how Donald Trump get it? Wrong. That's, you that's fake news. <laughs> the next first round matchup, we would have the Philadelphia 76ers taking on the Boston Celtics. Sweep. The Sixers match up well against the Celtics. Sweep. Now in the third. <laughs> the third <laughs> We have those Cle- those new look Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. The most entertaining series in the first round. Yeah, that that'll go to seven games for sure. Uh, G- it'll go to seven games strictly because of Giannis Antetokounmpo. That, that's my opinion right there. And then, last but not least, in the East, we have the Washington Wizards, who are on some weird run without their best player, against the Indiana Pacers. Yes, which I don't know. Remember, uh, Washington was a sixth seed before their run. Now they now they've climbed up to the to the fourth seed. So, uh, so about about Washington, our boy um Martin Gortat, you know the Mohawk himself. Yes, he needs to slow his roll when talking about John Wall. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He it, John Wall was pretty salty about his comments, bro. I was like, damn. Okay, well, you better watch out. John Wall gonna be a Cavalier next year. <laughs> Gortat's expendable, <laughs> maybe. All right, so with that, with that playoff, if that playoff were to start today, who reaches the Eastern Conference Finals? Jesus Christ! Um, one, two, one, eight. Because if the Celtics and the Cavaliers both win, they will play each other in the second round. Yeah, which would be interesting. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I, think um, I think the Indiana Pacers could beat the Raptors. I think they can too. I think they you can too. A, you might have a Pacers Cavaliers Eastern Conference Finals again, but no Paul George, LeBron James rivalry. Yeah, you, Victor Oladipo with a chip on his shoulder, which I think is scarier than Paul George, to be honest. Fuck. Um. If Boston, if Cleveland gets past Boston in the second round, then I honestly think that at that point that Cleveland is going to go to the finals again. Hi, Toby. Tobes. Tobes. He's got kisses? What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> That's that much he's giving us kisses. Lovely. Lovely. So... They, I think at the end, if we look at it like that, then the East, then LeBron is back in the Eastern Conference in the finals again. All righty. Now let's move on over to the West Side. You know. When we get up to the A seed, I have something to say about the A seed, okay? Okay. So bottoming out in the Western Conference, we have the Phoenix Suns. Trash. At number 14, we got the team where the owner admits to tanking. We got the Dallas Mavericks. They're, they're so bad at tanking, they're not even in last place. Trash. Poor Dirk Nowitzki. I don't think Dirk wanted to go out like this. They should have traded him to Golden State. Oh, sorry. What a Cleveland. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine Kevin Love and Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah. That would be deadly. Here's the messed up part about the next team that we're going to talk about. They traded away two of their best players to ensure that they're going to be tanking this year. 
and they got better. Yeah. <laughs> now that is the Sacramento Kings. <laughs> trash, but they're not playing like trash. This next team, I had high hopes for. And then I realized Zach Randolph wasn't there no more. And that is the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, Zach Randolph was the reason that they were even successful. I mean, you look at it. It tells you who the real all-star was. Oh. And how this team is this close to the playoff picture, we have the Los Angeles Lakers. I actually think by the time it's all said and done, the Lakers might sneak into the playoffs. Nope. <laughs> Want to know why? Why? Because in the 10th seed, we have the only other team that is tied with the one seed for the longest winning streak in the NBA currently, the Utah Jazz on a 10-game winning streak. Pretenders. <laughs> now at nine, we have the Los Angeles' Austin Rivers. <laughs> I don't even know how the Clippers even have a winning record right now, given that they've traded away Blake Griffin. How, Sway? How? Blake Griffin. Anybody who don't like anybody who didn't like Austin Rivers is gone. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God! I gotta talk about the playoff squads in the one eight matchup. We would have the Houston Rockets taking on the New Orleans Pelicans, and I'm gonna say this right now: if Boogie was healthy. The New Orleans Pelicans as the eighth seed would go to the finals. You think so? Yes. I think you might I be right about the team on the West or the East <sighs> to match Boogie and the Brow when they're both healthy. That's true. I mean, they don't have the bigs to do it. I don't think no team has the bigs to do it. And no team has a guy that can run run like Anthony Davis does. So No, and those two bigs could take you out to the perimeter and destroy you. Oh, yeah, because Boogie, Boogie got his three-point shot swinging. So. And Anthony Davis can do it all. Yeah, no, nah, that's right. That's right. Now, these, Houston, these Houston Rockets, they have two MVP contenders on their team with Chris Paul and James Harden. Does Chris Paul finally get to a Western Conference final? Well, fuck. He, I don't think Chris Paul has even gotten past the first round. Isn't that what the case is? <sighs> When he was in Char- when he was in Charlotte, I think he got past the first round. No, he never. That was the one thing. Okay, then yeah, he's never been past the first round. <laughs> That's the big storyline. Can he get past the first round? Well, if they fuck around and New Orleans beats him, and then Chris Paul is actually the curse. What if we realize that? What if they What if they said Chris Paul to New Orleans next year to play with Boogie and Anthony Davis? I think oh. he'd get out of the first round then. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Now, the next matchup we have is an interesting one because a guy on the seventh seed is playing balls out right now. And yeah. that's the Golden State Warriors against the Portland Trailblazers, and Damian Lillard is on fire. Well, keep in mind that he technically, if, if he plays uh, against Golden State, he's technically for three or so games to be playing against his hometown because he, he he's from Oakland. So. Yeah, I know. But he's playing balls to the wall right now. Yeah, he is. I think he's got a chip on his shoulder with the whole. Uh, I don't, did he get selected to the All Star game? Yeah, he was on um, Team Team Curry. I think yeah, because I think it was an alternate. I don't even think he was a starter. So yeah, he wasn't a starter. He was a bench player. Yeah. So I mean, between him and Russell Westbrook, they were playing with chips on their shoulders that damn game, anyways. But that's not the point. Uh, I think they're uh, the, next. We have. I thought these motherfuckers were out of the playoffs. Just because I haven't heard nothing about him this year. The San Antonio Spurs taking on the Denver Nuggets? Yeah. N- two words. Nikola Jokic. That man is gone. That Nobody knows who that man is. No one. Do you know who he is? What if I told you that he probably should have been in the All Star, the guy that replaced Boogie Cousins? And the other, and the other matchup is <laughs> he went straight to the. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, Phil, huh? It's like that. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why Hollywood loves having me around. <laughs> is that how we get down? 
<laughs> Hell no. Nah, I just avoid it. said, fuck it. Anyways. In the next matchup, is even more interesting. The four seed Minnesota Timberwolves, the four seed without Kevin Garnett, the four seed without Sam Cassell, the four seed without Latrell Freewell, the four seed <laughs> <laughs> taking on what at the beginning of the season looked to be a disaster in the making, but it's actually worked out quite nicely, the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's still a disaster in the making. I don't care what anybody says. They didn't want to be the fifth seed, Phil. They wanted to be the first seed. <laughs> well, it's like this. Golden State only has to fear two teams in the Western Conference. That's Oklahoma City and that's Houston. Because yeah. they can match them tempo. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to tear an ACL or something for this whole thing to work, though. For Golden State to win. <laughs> I'm sorry. These teams are now stacked balls to the wall now. Stacked yeah, like, oh. Oh, you want to make a super team? Fuck that. We're making a super division. <laughs> the super conference. Fucking shit. Think about dude. You know what the most fucked up part would be? What? If they went to the finals, no matter any of those teams, against the Cavaliers, and lost to this weird Cavaliers team that is all of a sudden good. They're a weird super team, though. But they're missing their second best player. <laughs> But they're a weird super team. How they, do you call that a super team? <laughs> they have the they have the weird non snitching point guard from the L.A. Lakers, and they have Larry Nance, he who's embodying the soul of his daddy. That's how Phil. That's how <laughs> they are winning with a motherfucker named Rodney Hood. He sounds like the Mac from motherfucking Lucha Underground. Rodney <laughs> Rodney Hood was the Utah Jazz's all star. <laughs> and let's not talk about Mr. George fucking Hill, who looks like a legitimate point guard with LeBron James. George Hill was the uh, George Hill was the reason why the, the Sacramento Kings were doing so good. Hence, why they traded him. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, we're winning too many fucking games. Trade his fucking ass. And we can't get rid of Zebo because he got court car- court charges in L.A. Fuck. Oh. Zach Randolph was not allowed to be traded due to his criminal charges. <laughs> they didn't want to be put in a Kentavious, a Kentavious Caldwell Pope situation where he was only allowed to play home games. You do know that the Pelicans actually contacted the Kings about Zebo. Mm. They're going to replace Boogie with Zebo. Hey, but peep game. The... The the Pelicans got Nikola Mirotic, dude. That yeah, dude is not a fucking game. Not a fucking game. Like I said, if they would have got Mirotic and Boogie was healthy, they would be in the Western Conference Finals. And then they get Greg Monroe. That, who snatched him up? Greg Monroe, yeah, he's on the Pelicans. Yeah. Oh, no, he's on the, he's on the Celtics now. I thought he went to New Orleans. No, that trade didn't go through. He went to the Celtics. Well, it wasn't a trade because he got cut. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. Fucking shit. Yeah, he's on the he's on the uh the fucking Celtics. Huh. Yeah. Oh well, fuck it. Anyways, I guess they, I guess they needed somebody because they because they automatically they remembered. Oh shit, LeBron's coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's going. It's it's crazy. This playoff. I I, I want to. I would want to say. I want to. I watch out for two teams: one Eastern Conference, one Western Conference. Indiana in the Eastern Conference, Minnesota in the Western Conference. Who's the team that you think we should be watching out for, sir? In the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. Yep. Over in the East. I think you gotta watch them sly dogs, man. You gotta watch them fucking um Who was that AC that said again? Hey, you talking about in the Eastern Conference? Yeah. Isn't the Heat the AC? No, not the Heat. It was the um oh the Pistons. Yeah, the Pistons. You gotta watch the Pistons over in the 
Eastern Conference. And yeah. in the West, in the West, I'm going to have to go with – I'm going to have to go Oklahoma City. I think that that, that that team can put it together for a playoff series or two. Yeah, that's true. That's How about true. You? I don't know. I'll tell you one team that everybody's just not giving a chance to. I don't even think people even realize this team's in the playoff after we just said it. The fucking Denver Nuggets. <laughs> Cause you were shocked as hell looking at the look looking at the standings. The Denver Nuggets. I was shocked with the San Antonio Spurs, and you know you know me. The San Antonio Spurs are like the Patriots; they're always there. Yeah, yeah. But this season has not been a Spurs season. No, with with a Kawhi Leonard not looking like himself. Um, well, he has not played like five games this year. Yeah, like they're really trying to baby that dude. I don't know what what the fuck is going on, but trade value. Very yeah, that's basically what it is. All right, sir. Well, you know it's uh, about that time we end the show. So I just uh-huh. have one thing to say before the anything else. Yes, yeah, sir. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers released Doug Martin. Oh yes, that 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 is a a, a thing. Um, he only averaged two point nine yards a carry last year. So the offensive line was shit. Yeah, that's true. Ask Jameis Winston. Yeah, nigga practically died. So the other side of that is, uh, in a football thing real quick, Carson Wentz had an ACL plus injury, which means, like Tom Brady uh, and like RG3, that he's going to have to wear a knee brace for the rest of his football career. So the question is, which one is he going to turn out like, Tom Brady or RG3? RG3. Nah. You really think so? I think Carson Carson Wentz has more – Arm power than I mean more more talent than RG three. I'm not letting your wife get mad at me. We have two minutes away. So, Mister Black, do you have anything to say to the people? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you again for watching Sinful Black Entertainment. It is always wonderful when me and my boy Big Sin does our thing, and so we love the Facebook audience. We love the YouTube audience. So. Show us some love. This is going to be posted on the Sinful Black Entertainment page. So what I'd like you to go ahead and do is let your friends know about Sinful Black. Tag it. Do whatever you can. And when you tag it, make sure that they like the page. And if they like the page, make sure that they know that they're going to get all the wonderful things that Sinful Black Entertainment has to offer up to and including the overtime sports show, video game plays. And, yes, we still have to do it, sir. OTR. You know we got to do it. We've been fucking around. We have a lot of things to say on this next OTR. I don't even know if I have enough alcohol to deal with what we have to talk about on OTR, but it has to be talked about. And so that's how we're going to do it around there. Now, when you uh, follow us on Facebook, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. That's the like button. Make that motherfucker turn blue. When that motherfucker turns blue, you're going to see everything that we have to offer. Same thing on the YouTube side. Follow us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. And when you subscribe to us on YouTube, all the gameplays that are on there are all live as well. So when we're live on, when you when you see Big Sim playing a game on there, it's live. It's ready to go. We also have the uh, the critically acclaimed uh, Jeremiah Irwin Monster Hunter show, which people have loved and and have uh, pressed Big Sim for more episodes. In fact, if your game, sir. I'm down to join you this weekend. You might run into uh, Bubba Black down there in the Monsters. Well, I'm, I'm down in the Monster Land. You said that the last two weeks, and your ass hasn't showed up. Well, sir, okay, when I went to go check if you were online, you weren't online. And then. I was going through shit, and I sent my status to offline. Okay, so... Well, anyway, <laughs> because this man was busy, I did a secret but a modern gameplay for the PS4 remake. It's at 104 views right now on Facebook on YouTube. Um, if you don't know what the secret of is, go check it out. It was a fantastic RPG back in the PlayStation 2 days. Yes, go check it out. Oh, yes, Mr. Aldred asked what system 
all dressed, sir. We do our our thug thizzle on the uh, PS4 when it comes to Monster Hunter. We do also have the Xbox. Um, and we even have a couple switches, Nintendo switches lying around somewhere. Uh, yeah, have- comes out for the switch next month. Oh, yeah, that should be fucking awesome. Somebody's gonna snap their switch in half. I guarantee it. Well, you never know. I mean, fuck. uh, yeah, so catch anyway, us on the PlayStation. You can anyway, catch it. He's uh, gonna go watch a movie. This has been overtime sports. Yes, we'll be back. Hopefully tomorrow night. If we die here, there'll be a gameplay. I guarantee that. One way or the other, you're going to see a little bit of Sinful Black, all right? So don't worry about it. Don't trip. We're doing our thug thing. So go to www.youtube.com backslash J-U-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. And I said that like the newest WWE Hall of Fame inductee, J-E-F-F, T. That's Jeff Jarrett, and we are out this bitch. Deuces.